Welcome back, friends, to Resident Evil Zero. Um, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Oh, I peaked a lot there. Sorry. Uh, sorry about keeping you guys waiting. Um, but uh, here we are. Let's see what happens here. What's this? Looks like some kind of chemical. Put it in the mixing set. Yes. Mix to form stripping agents. Okay, I guess that's good. Store the device is empty right now. So, use. Um, hmm. Okay. It's full of poisonous gas, so the safety lock has been activated. Uh, okay, that's uh, that's not very helpful. Um, well, there's nowhere for Billy to go except out. Uh, I guess maybe there's something around that uh, that Slimer guy. much as I hate to con even consider going through that area. But we're just gonna have to, I guess. It's also been a bit of a long time since I did a safety save. Collection of leech samples. Press the button. Yes. One of the capsules is glowing. Bleach capsule. Uh, okay. So now that I have the leech capsule. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So that means that I can sh shove the leeches into the to the thing and have them eat the poison. Let's uh let's look at this. Oh, examine. Capsule appears to contain a specimen of a leech. The lid won't budge, maybe it's sealed with some kind of special material. Oh no wait, you know what? You know what? You know what? Uh I know what to do with it, but um we're not supposed to do it here. Because we're heading into Marcus's room and he really loves his leeches apparently, so um Oh wait, don't forget there's a guy here. Throw a Malto at him. He's not gonna like that. It instantly eviscerated him, which I like. So right here, because it's in the shape of a leech. Examine a blue sculpture sp uh, specially shaped into the form of a leech. Let me guess. Use. Yep. Assume this much. Nothing happens. Maybe you're using the wrong key. What? Well, where am I supposed to shove it? Oh, wait. This is... You're up, Billy. Where's the uh, thing? Right here. Get your heels. Ah. Oh. Whew. Wow, it looks, it feels good to have both of them on fine. Uh, something in here. Oh, Billy! Oh, that's why you're low on ammo. You, you just kind of killed that guy while I was uh, doing something else. It seems. So let's see here. 
Yeah, on the wall here, right? There's got to be something in this room, in this particular area. That's the elevator, but there is a door here. And if if I'm using the wrong key up there, there's no other place where I can shove a leech. I mean, I guess we can try and look around a bit more. Where have we not looked? Um, it doesn't go in that capsule thing. There is literally no other place to shove this leech. I mean, you know. Apart from somewhere, uh, somewhere that creates a bad joke, but um, hmm. man, I wish I had some more acid rounds. That room is locked. Oh wait, I didn't pr try to press that button. Right back out again. We're not gonna deal with that one until Billy gets here, because he has all the Molotov things. Alright, so... This means that Billy needs to deal with the leech guy. You always seem to meet these leech thingies uh, in, in places, in the worst possible places. That you can, ugh, it's annoying. Right. I'm gonna try to Molotov him first. Oh man, did I actually just kill one of those things without taking damage? Wow, I'm pleased with myself. All right, Billy, it's your turn. Oh my God, extra healing items. We're actually hitting a lucky streak or a lucky break. Wow, oh man. Some annoying puzzles, puzzles in this house, room, mm, sub mansion. I'm gonna, uh, yeah, gotta click the thing. Send something to the reference room, yes. We're gonna send that one. Sure takes its sweet ass time getting down there. How much room do we have here? All right, before I pick this up, I'm gonna make a safety save because we're in a good spot now. Not ammo wise, but at least in every other aspect. Uh, machine room, uh, where there we go. Church. Save all that. Man, I'm sp I've spent a lot of saves in this playthrough. Pro tip, do not go into uh, resource demanding game. Well, not resource in that sense, but you know, don't go, if you're ever, if you ever plan on making videos, and if you are planning, you should definitely start making videos because it's fun as shit. Um, don't, don't ever go into games like these uh, completely blind because you'll end up doing shit like I've done. Waste all your stuff. Probably gonna end up having to fight, you know, whatever the final boss is, a bunch of leeches and sh 
stuff without, you know, ammo. Like, knife fight him to death or something. But we'll see. What I do know is that this leech goes in here. The lock has been released. Alright. Please, God, Billy, don't don't get killed. Um. Ooh, an actual animated pre-rendered thing. Poorly animated pre-rendered thing, because you can still see where the where the blades are. Wow, that's pretty cheap. Large painting hangs on a wall. The title reads, Woman in Love with a Dead Man. Ugh. I wonder if these paintings are actually based on, you know, actual paintings. Input... There's something else here. There's something written on the back of the photograph. To James, to commemorate your graduation, 1939. Okay. Judging from the age, that guy could be Marcus's son or grandson. Gee. So, thanks, Billy. Ugh. Mysterious objects are floating in the water. It means leeches? Because that's the thing here, right? Leeches. You know, like the Inflame song? These leeches, they preach to us. Um, that's quite an unlocked door. I can feel something bad happening now. Input red coil. Where does that go? I think it might go into that. Uh, into that um, box jigger. You know the the thing where where with the poison room. Oh hello. Oh, that's, come on, that's dumb. Let's set him on fire. Another one. Ah, stop it, you're burning. Luckily, Billy is a... Uh... Yeah, stay down. Uh, puzzle time, puzzle time. Of course I can't carry this now. Alright, variety of expensive looking shit. Despite a few cracks, this pot looks like a valuable work of art. Sorry for pressing a bit fast. Hmm. Uh... <clears throat> Sorry. This picture is composed of four separate sheets. There doesn't seem to be anything special about it. Uh, okay, you know what? I, I'm not comfortable leaving stuff in this room. Especially not when it's ammunition. And especially, especially not when it's ammunition that seems to be effective against the leechmen. And you know what I just realized when speaking of leechmen? I've been having so much issues with health. And there's just a guy in the toilet with a green herb in the training facility. Well. Odds are it's going to stay there forever. Now. What exactly does this thing do? Necessary to get the cable car moving again. What cable car? Alright, leave it here. Well, let's go get the leech and get assaulted by bad guys. I wish I could leave the shotgun in the thing. In the uh, little elevator play thing.
still can't get over how they uh, the shade the little spots where uh the uh, the ceiling fan is supposed to occupy uh occupy uh, occupy it's just not filled in with the mist that was that's what makes uh Resident Evil look so good is uh the fact that everything all the all the backgrounds are pre-rendered uh, so the game looks good while at the same time it's very not taxing on your computer. And, um, oh, was there something shiny up in the floor, up in the roof? No. And, um, I haven't had a chance to test the uh, Resident Evil Zero or Resident Evil Remake uh, Duo thing that got released for PlayStation 4 and probably the other consoles too. But um, I'm going to assume that you'll be able to pick from EA both the 60 FPS and the 30 FPS option on that release too. Which is a nice little addition. Consoles usually don't get that choice. Maybe that'll change now that we're uh, now that we're getting the Pro and Scorpio or whatever the fuck it's called. But yeah, I'm actually looking forward to those new consoles. Probably not the Pro... Uh, the PlayStation 4 Pro thing that's coming out now, but their next iteration. I'm hoping that they won't redo their entire architecture for every single iteration on the consoles anymore. Because um, one of the main reasons I'm playing on a computer now as opposed to playing on um, on a console, um, mostly it's because of um, the, the lack of backwards compatibility, which is uh, being that I play a lot of older games that's a very important part in my uh, well it's one of the many needs that i have as a gamer the xbox is winning that war they recently released uh lock has been released uh lost odyssey for xbox 360 backwards compatibility and um i would want to, i could do a uh, let's play of that but it's a very long game so uh, that that doesn't sound good there's a zombie in here, isn't there? These containers look like they are used to store dead bodies. A strange smell emanates from inside. Well, I'm sure it does. Come on. I have very limited ammunition. Please do not get up again. What's this? Sterilizing agent. I know what that's for. And handgun bullets. I definitely know what those are for. <sighs> this game is, uh, sorry, probably shouldn't blow into the mic. This game is stressing me out. Wait. Yeah, I know you're not dead, you little asshole. I'm not gonna bother with you. I'm not gonna take damage just to show you that I can step on your face. You probably don't drop anything nice anyway. Okay, let's sterilize that room. Things are starting to look up. I mean, barring, barring anything disastrous happening now, and if I can just stay conservative, especially in the ammo usage department, I uh, might actually get, get through this. All right. That guy's dead. There's a key in there. I just know he's he's gonna pop up, isn't he? Yep, everybody gets up. A key engraved with the vis uh, visage of a hideous monster. Alright, uh, let's not exit the menus yet and check the map real quick. That other room is just locked. 
And um, so while we're here, let's uh, check out the save room. Maybe that's where the key goes. I don't know. Breeding room key, so it might be. Gotta watch my timer too. Nope. It's locked. Cannot open it. Man, how long are they gonna be kept apart from each other? I'm in a very lopsided situation here. All Jill has is her, uh, well, Jill. I keep saying, oh my god, I shouldn't say Jill. This isn't, this isn't a good Resident Evil game. Yeah, all, all Rebecca has is her uh, handgun and her one grenade bullet. And I don't even know what that grenade bullet is for, so... Well, I know what it's for. It's for shooting into the faces of bad people, but... But, um... It's not going to be enough. And Billy really needs this shotgun ammo too. No. Oh, down it goes. And, um... Why don't you go get that key? Something inside. Take the breathing room key. And this would be a good time for a safety save. I think. Definitely would be. Get the uh, ink ribbon here. Should probably go pick up that healing stuff too. Bit worried. Uh, oh, my ass has fallen asleep. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Ah. I'm a bit worried. Billy, Billy's going to be forced to do a uh, boss fight by him, by his onesies. At least he has some damage. But not nearly enough. I, uh, let's find a better place to, to drop our shit. This place right here. This is good. When leaving stuff on the ground, it's kind of... It, it's gotten to a point where I feel like I should leave things in a... Uh, well, not, not necessarily a tidy manner, but in a manner that it... Makes it easy for me to pick them back up again. And I'm assuming... Yeah, I think I know what's going to happen now. I'm going to open that door. Throw away the key. There's going to be a bunch of shit in that room. And... This is where they get back together. Device for entering a combination, but it's missing a part and can't be used. This would be the key. No... Then what? Then what? Hmm. Right. Looking at my timer, uh, this is gonna be have to be something for me to think about and for you guys to wonder about. Uh, although chances are a lot of you guys already know what I'm supposed to be doing with this uh, in this situation, but for the moment I don't. So um, we're going to call this an episode. I'll see you guys next week for some more Resident Evil Zero. Thanks for watching, guys. See you around.